Hello? 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 Hey. What's up? How's your day been? Pretty good. How about you? It's, it's, it's been alright, yeah. Cool. So yeah, how do you feel about, about veganism? Uh, me, myself, I'm not a vegan. Uh, I, I never really... I'm, I'm not really interested in being a vegan. Um, I don't know. The only thing I wanted to ask is a uh, well, I mean, there's a couple of things, but it depends what how the first conversation goes. Is uh, like from what I've heard from other people is when you do turn vegan, they've told me like it's all just plants and like stuff like that. And you know, the thing I don't get is obviously how do you? Because I remember like so like vegans just in general, like how do they get a balanced diet? Yeah, so do, by balance, do you mean just getting all of your necessary nutrients? Yeah, like yeah, like vitamins, proteins, like things like that. Yeah, you can get all of your necessary proteins and things from from plants. Did you have any specific nutrients in in mind? Not not specifically, but like just like when you think of a balanced diet, you have like your proteins, your vitamins, you know, like all your nutrients and everything like that, like your fiber, like everything like that to to make it a balanced diet. The way I see yeah. it is, like, you'll have, you know, plants to be a vegan and you would have to play, take supplements as tablets. Like, am, yeah, I somewhat, so, am I somewhat right in that? Yeah, so vegans typically take B12 and, and D3. And these are nutrients that are commonly supplemented um, and, and fed to, to livestock, right? So in, in both cases, whether you're an omnivore or a, or a plant-based eater, um, you're still taking a supplement. Um, it's just whether it's filtered through an animal, through fortified um, livestock food, or you just take it directly. Um, but yeah, there's nothing unhealthy or unnatural or unhealthy about taking a, a supplement. Um, right. And a plant-based diet confers better health outcomes, right? So when we look at health outcomes between omnivores and, and vegans, um, vegans tend to have lower risks of cardiovascular disease, obesity, diabetes, stroke, um, relative to omnivores. All right. Yeah. and. Uh... Like the only thing I could pretty much think of to, because I kind of just joined this, like not really knowing what to say, but I kind of just thought of a couple of things that might not make sense, and I'm completely fine if you then laugh and I'll just go. But um, no, I, I won't laugh. Yeah, go ahead. So okay, like going off just my knowledge, which isn't the best, but it isn't the worst. Um, so this is going to sound like somewhat extreme, but like, like if you think of. You know, like the carbon cycle, mm -hmm. like in the earth, you know, everything to do with that. So the way I put it is cows specifically, well, like just in general, they let off methane, right? Mm -hmm. That that causes global warming. That like that is a that is a cause to global warming, right? Yeah. So like in a way, if you like get rid of more cows. Like, I'm just saying cows just because it's easy. But, you know, like, in general, animals, most animals let off methane and different things like that through, like, feces and just breathing. So if you were to kill them, they would be able to do less harm in releasing methane and gases that would then affect global warming. But also, if you yeah. were to then, like, kill plants... And get rid of plants. Plants absorb carbon dioxide, methane, and gases that cause global warming. Surely, you're actually making, you know, global warming. Okay. No, I, 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 I'm following what you're what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. So there's there's two points, right? Um, yeah. So the the point about like plants, we can start there. Um, the overwhelming majority of the plants we grow go to feed livestock, right? So over 80% of the soy, for instance, goes to feed livestock. So if it's right. the case that we ought to prioritize um, the growth of plants and, and not, you know, feeding them to livestock, right, um, we would actually just be, be vegan because fewer plants have to die on a plant-based diet. Um, and we're not actually advocating for the continued bringing into existence and and life of these livestock animals, right? So you're right, and the, the rate at which they're being birthed and um, brought into existence is unsustainable environmentally. And we're not saying we're going to continue that, but we just won't kill them. 
right? We're, we're advocating for just not bringing them into existence in the first place. So we don't have the problem of, of methane and having to grow plants to feed them um, because we, we don't actually, you know, need them to, to exist because right now they just exist to satisfy a demand, right? So absence of, in absence of the demand, we don't have a reason for them to, to exist on these farms. All right. And I don't know, like, I don't know if it's just me, but uh, like when, when you read the title, why aren't you vegan yet? I I took it in like, well, actually, no, that's that, that that point wouldn't make sense. I just realised in my head. Forget that. But anyway, <laughs> sure. um, I don't know how to word it, but it's like if I don't know. Uh, well, let me ask you a question. So, if we take veganism yeah. to be the belief that it's it's wrong to harm others when we don't have good reasons to, right? It's wrong to harm and kill others without, you know, unnecessarily, right? Um, yeah. Do you agree with that? Is that something you you agree with? What to to hurt something? Like... Yeah, is it is it wrong to harm others unnecessarily? Well, that's the thing. Is it is it unnecessary? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So unnecessary in this context is indexed to the fact that we can just consume plants instead, right? So if it's a choice, See, right? If we can the, choose to consume animals, that's the yeah, thing. So in somewhere in somewhere like I don't know, like somewhere where it's very deserted no plant no plant life but there's cattle but not cattle cows pigs you know goat mm -hmm. horses things like that but there's no vegetation they feed their like animals some of the way don't know how but they do um like yeah obviously they that them killing those cows pigs horses goats would then be necessary yeah, so ought implies can, right? So when we say you ought to be vegan, it implies that you can be vegan. So if there's a situation where, you know, maybe you're in a survival situation or you quite literally can't consume plants, then we wouldn't say, you know, be on a plant-based diet because you literally can't. But when we think about the situations that you, you and I are in, right, we can just go to the grocery store, go to restaurants and eat the plant-based options. Um, yeah. And so yeah like, if you can yeah, be vegan, yeah. you you should be, is, is what we're saying, yeah. So like... Obviously, I don't know much about veganism because I've never got into it. So, like, what are, like, if you, if I said, give me, like, five of the best reasons to become a vegan, what would they be? Um, yeah, so, I mean, for a lot of people, veganism is overdetermined, right, on three fronts. So there's the ethics side of veganism where, you know, we acknowledge that it's, it's wrong to harm others um, unnecessarily and you know, we can just consume plants. So, so why are we consuming animals, right? When it, it necessitates the, the torture and death of animals. So that's like the ethics side. There's the environmental side where just in virtue of a dietary change to a plant-based diet will reduce water usage, land usage, energy usage of, of what it takes to sustain life on, on earth, just human life, right? So it's far more environmental to just eat plant-based. And yeah. then there's the health aspects, right? So like we talked about earlier, just eating plant-based confers better health outcomes. So if you're only concerned about yourself, you would still have it, you know, it would still be good for you to eat, eat plant-based. So those are like the three primary ones, but I think the most important one is the ethical argument, right? The idea that it's just, it's wrong to harm and kill others when, when we don't have to. All right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's fine. Um, oh, there was something else. Uh, but, oh yeah. So, would you say, just in your opinion, would you say plants are alive? Oh yeah, no, absolutely, they're they're alive, it, but they're but they're not sentient, right? Um, if you were talking about like what's the distinction, like why is it okay to consume plants but not animals? It's it, the, the the sentience component is the the sort of symmetry breaker there, right? So there's something to be like a, a chicken, a pig, and a cow, but there's nothing to be like a carrot, right? Um, yeah, they don't have yeah, a brain, yeah. they don't have a nervous system, right? So it's it's okay on, on our view to consume plants, um, but not animals. But again, like let's let's say let's say it's wrong to consume plants. Let's say there's something to be like a carrot. You would still be obligated to be vegan because fewer plants die on a plant based diet, right? Because we feed a lot of plants to to livestock. All right. Okay. Yeah. That, that's. I mean, the point I was going to make was, you know, like. If plants were alive, then surely it's the same as cows. But yeah, now that you said that, because obviously they they don't have a brain and stuff like that, it's not quite the same as thing. So yeah, I am yeah. wrong. But... 
Um, cool, cool. Yeah, I mean, you know, you're on the survey. Check out the recipe section. You know, check out the Help Me Go Vegan chat. And yeah. you know, if there's anything, you know, you're interested in veganism at some point, um, we're happy to help and support you. Um, yeah. This is a, it's I mean, a really cool space to, to participate yeah. in. So, I mean, yeah. like where I am now, like in my life, I'm not, I don't, I don't think personally I will ever become vegan. I think, I mean, yes, there is a point where, okay, I eat meat for pleasure. You know, I eat it because of the taste of it, um, but I don't. I don't see anything wrong with that. Like, you you eat plants. Like, I'm guessing you eat. You're you're a vegan because of the pleasure of it. Uh, not because of the pleasure, just because I value animals, right? I value my, so in, my fellow creatures on Earth, right? And I don't want to see them get get harmed and killed unnecessarily. So, just in like in any way have, have you been like forced to be a vegan not physically or emotionally but kind of just in general no i haven't like, i haven't been forced friends. i don't no no yeah i don't think you can force people to be to be vegan like the reason i'm vegan, like i had a conversation with a friend and you know kind of like how we're having like these issues were brought up and i couldn't think of a good argument to consume animal products when i didn't have to knowing that it causes an immense amount of harm and suffering um, and it's for that reason that I decided to be to be vegan. But it wasn't for like self-serving reasons, right? It was just because I didn't want to cause harm to others when I didn't have to. And knowing what happens in the industry, like, you know, you should check out like Dominion and, and their things, like like watch what actually happens. Because once you see it, it becomes a lot harder to justify it, I think, you know. Yeah. But if you choose to continue to support the industry, at least do so from an informed perspective by having watched, you know, the, the footage and, and things. Oh yeah, like I mean, I've seen like how chickens in different like free range, and there's ones where they shut in cages, and like even though I'm not a vegan, I will still go for free range, um, like eggs or whatever. So like I know that the chickens weren't kept in two foot wide cages, and you know like you know force fed to make more of them and everything like that, and you know. Yeah, the sort of sure like two points that we could, yeah, we can yeah. quickly talk about the egg industry really fast. Like there's sort of two points, right? So um, one of the reasons why the egg industry is so unethical is because we, well, one of the things we do, right, is divide the chickens, the baby chicks into two groups, right? Male and female and yeah. female being hens, right? They're profitable and male being unprofitable. So to dispose of them, right, we, we grind them up alive. We, we put them in bags and suffocate them. Um, so when you're buying eggs, like we can envision, you know, these super happy chickens and they're, they, you know, free range and they can run around and stuff. But ultimately those baby chicks are still ground up alive. But let, let's say that, you know, those, those hens are super happy and stuff. Ultimately, they're still killed at the end of their life, right? When the reproductive system fails and they can't produce any more eggs, they're useless to the industry, right? So they're disposed of in the same ways that, that chickens grown from, for meat are, but, you know, their physiology are is such that they, they lay far more eggs than they can, they can naturally support, right? So their lives are just, are worse in virtue of having this, you know, yeah. having to lay an egg a day, which, you know, it's not, it's not sustainable for them. And it's, we're like, we're treating them as resources for us to exploit rather than beings to value in of themselves. And it's our view that if we don't have to do this, right, we don't need to consume eggs, we can consume other things like tofu scramble. Like, why are we doing this, you know? Yeah, and I think... I think that's purely because of the popularity of it. Like, yeah, it's, that's probably it's a, a big component. That, that's yeah. Like, I'm not saying this so I sound like I want to be vegan. I'm saying this just purely off like natural brain power. Like, of, of course, when you go to a shop, like I go to Tesco's, you know, you see eggs before you see what you said. Did you say tofu scramble? Yeah, tofu scramble. Yeah. It's yeah, it's just tofu and spices, but it it tastes like scrambled eggs like i made it for my family and they're like you're telling us this isn't scrambled eggs like that's that's awesome yeah so but, like for me i've never heard that I, like i've heard of tofu mm -hmm. but not tofu scramble so you know yeah. like, obviously if someone were to tell me tofu scramble go get it i wouldn't know where to start but if someone said go get eggs i nip down to sainsbury's and like you know get a batch of 12 for two quid you know mm -hmm. like yeah, I, don't, I think you're right. A lot of it comes down to awareness and like the things that you can prepare on a plant-based yeah. diet. Like a lot of people just think vegans eat salad, you know, but yeah. I eat all the same foods I used to eat. They're just, they're just from plants. 
Um, oh, and you know, for anyone yeah. in the server, like check out the the vegan food picks channel. Like mm -hmm. all that food looks freaking amazing, and none of it's salad. You know. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, that, it's just a yeah. That, that's the other thing, though. Like, <laughs> like, like you just said, you just said, um, like, sorry, wait, could you just repeat a bit? Like, yeah, sorry, there's basically the same. <laughs> Sorry, there's background noise on my end. Um, yeah, yeah the, trash, the trash guy is here. But um, no, yeah, I was just saying, it's, I think you're right. I think awareness plays like a, a big part of it. And just being aware of what you can prepare on a vegan or plant-based yeah. diet um, is going to influence people and show them that like, yeah, I can eat all the same foods. They're just, they're just from plants, you know? Yeah. And if it, if it I think, you know, I think, if, I think, if your diet, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. It's just that for me is wrong. Like, like it's false what you just said. Like saying, What's false? saying that it's the same, but just plant based. Yeah. So when I when I mean like I don't mean you know, um, like virtually identical. I mean like if you like burgers, you can have plant based burgers. If you like pasta, you can have like plant based pasta with you know seitan. If you like burritos, you can have plant based burritos. I don't mean like you can literally reproduce a steak, um, atom for atom with plants. I mean we're getting there sort of right. But yeah. the, the foods that you like and enjoy, um, typically what we find is like what you actually enjoy are the spices, right? The, yeah. the marinades and the herbs and the spices that we that we put on the food. Um, right. So yeah, you can you can put all those same things on on plants and get the same like taste pleasure from the from the foods if that makes sense. Yeah. So just going back, like just two minutes ago, you said like you don't eat it for pleasure. So mm -hmm. like. Yeah. That's... So the so the only reason you're vegan is because of the reasons you gave me five minutes ago when I said give me five reasons for the ethics. Yeah. For, yeah. The ethics you know, is like the main driving force. Like the others are like you know sort of happy benefits. You know, happy byproducts of going vegan, like environment and health. But I'd still be vegan if environment and health weren't benefits, right? Um, if like is that, is you know, that, is, that when, is that is that when you would bring in pleasure to eating um, or to becoming a vegan yeah so when we talk about pleasure in like a dietary context we're usually well, talking about like well, yeah, when, when i'm talking about like pleasure and eating like i'll eat a kfc like a zinger burger meal for three three nine nine from my local kfc and yep. like after i've it, i'll have a smile on my face watching a good video and you know enjoying life but that, that's that's what i mean by pleasure like not not necessarily the the health benefits of it just more like the actual like yeah so are you saying that the reason you consume animal products is because they they taste good well yeah like okay. like, yeah, yeah. like obviously i do know the uh down effects of you know the bad things about like how vegans see killing animals is wrong but mm -hmm. because i haven't been vegan yet and i probably never will like i said I, well, like, let's talk about let's talk about taste really quick so okay, yeah. do, you, do you think that, that the taste you get, right, the pleasure you get from consuming animals justifies the harm that's caused? Wait, say that again. Yeah. So if we take like, you know, the, the animal agriculture industry to be like horrendous and evil in virtue of the ways in which they treat animals, right? Like they slice yeah. off the, the testicles of pigs without anesthetic, they rip out their teeth, yeah, you know, yeah. sear off the beaks of chickens, right? So if we, if we, Think about that, and we think, you know, all of that is justified because I get pleasure from consuming them. Is that is that your view? Like you, the the pleasure you get from from that harm justifies that harm? Not not like altogether. Like it's it's not. I t I still think. Oh wait, maybe some pig has now just lost his bollocks because so I can enjoy this burger or whatever. Like I will think about that slightly, but. The pleasure is still there, and then, like that would just make it, um, like almost just overdo it, like it. Will yeah. Over... So the the pleasure is the reason you're you're choosing to consume animal products instead of plant based products. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So would you accept pleasure as a justification in other contexts? So if someone were to say, you know, I really enjoy kicking dogs because it just makes me happy, like the sounds of their screams and yelps, like just makes me really happy like would you accept that as a justification in that context no okay now do you see why that might be problematic like why is it wrong to kick to kick dogs because well, it's a dog and they're not meant to be kicked. okay well say you were kicking a pig 
right? Say you were doing the same thing, just kicking a pig. You really like the sounds of their screams. Would it be justified if it if it made you happy to kick pigs? No. Okay. Why not? Because I'm not. Why well, would I want to kick a pig? Well, not not you, but this person in particular just really likes kicking pigs because it, it makes them happy. Like, on what grounds can you say they're doing something wrong if you use that same justification in the consumption of animal products, right? Uh, yeah, I see where you're coming from there. Yeah, I, I, I can see like what you're trying to say, and I know you're trying to prove me wrong. And to be honest, I don't really give a shit. Not, but not, not not proving you wrong, right? I but, I think we're, but, we're just well, trying no, to no, show... that is that is what you're doing, like. Well, you know, well, no, I, yeah. I think, I like think we're just no, exploring... you're, trying to, you're, trying to, you're trying to prove a point that I have made. Well, no, you're trying to um, go against a point that I've made and you're trying to, like, get me to see how I'm wrong, which I do oh, understand, yeah, I... but because I'm not a vegan and I'm not going vegan, I won't change. But no, no, I, I think our intention here is just showing people that veganism sort of follows from their existing views, right? And I agree with you when you say that, you know, kicking dogs and kicking pigs is wrong and and pleasure in that context isn't a good reason to do it. I agree with you. I just think pleasure in the animal agriculture context is also a not good justification, right? I don't think yeah. pleasure in any context justifies harming others when we don't have to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's good to good to think about, you know, and I appreciate you coming up and, and talking with us. It's, uh, it's really cool. No, that's fun. I was just, yeah, I don't really know, to be honest, yeah. Oh, check out the check out the server. We're uh, <laughs> we're all pretty friendly, and uh, we like having conversations like this. So, um, yeah, yeah, I really appreciate you you coming up. Uh, cool. Yeah, take care.